Welcome guys. So I have prepared here my bodice block. This is the front bodice block and that is the back bodice block. I have a video where I taught earlier on how to make a bodice block. I'm going to be leaving the link down in the description box. Please watch that video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a princess star line. There are two ways to make a princess star line. It could be a mid armhole princess star line or a mid shoulder princess star line. So I'm going to be using my pattern here where I have the waist and side darts to do the dart manipulation to teach you this. I'm going to start off by cutting my pattern out so it will be easy to do my dart manipulation. Like you already know, this is my waist dart and this is my side dart. So after separating my pattern, you know, from the rest of the paper, I'm going to be closing my waist dart like this. So you fold one leg of your dart over to the other leg of your dart, just as you can see me do. Okay, and you want to leave it on the closed while you use your scissors to cut the sideline of your pattern or the bodies. Now, upon opening up the dart, you can see the notch that we have here. This notch is very important, okay, right there. This is important because we're going to be closing this side dart, and upon closing it, we won't want it to extend out of the bodice. Moving to the back pattern, as you can see, my center back is not a straight line. The center back of the human slants because the spine is not straight, right? I explained all this when I taught how to make the bodice block. So if you haven't seen that video, once again, look in the description box. You will see the link to the video on how to draft the bodice block. So here I am cutting out my back pattern as well. Having an accurate princess style line begins with your bodice block. Drafting an accurate bodice block. Please, 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 guys, go down to my description box and watch my video on how to draft the bodice block. If your bodice block is not correct, then your fittings are all going to be wrong. So this is my nipple right here. You know, where I'm making the dots right here is a nipple. And in that manipulation, you want to bring your side dart to the nipple as well as your waist dart to the nipple. Such that the darts are all meeting at the nipple. Now, how do I know that the nipple? The distance from the center front down to where we have the marking of the nipple is the bust pants, which is the distance from one nipple across the bodies over to the other nipple. And here we have divided it into two. So assuming my bust distance is eight inches, divided into two would be four. And from center front to the line there, as you can see, is four inches, which connects in a straight line from the waist up to the nipple. Now if you notice I had gone upwards by one inches from the nipple. So I'm going to begin by marking the mid of my armhole. Yeah, right there is the mid of my armhole. I'm placing my curve. I'm going to connect from that point down to this line here. You know, I went one inch upwards from the nipple. So I'm going to be connecting the curve down to the one inch marking not coming directly to the nipple guys this is very important so watch as i do i make the curve coming downwards okay and ended the curve right at the one inch marking not coming in the nipple so i have some sort of a straight line connecting from there down to the nipple I'm doing this because I'm going to be closing my side dart, right? And when I do close this side dart, it's going to reduce the flattening I have here and make it more curvy. It's not magic, guys. You'll get to see as I go along. <laughs> if I were to make a mid-shoulder princess star line, I'll simply come to the shoulder line here and find the mid of it, right? Then using my ruler... I'm going to be connecting from that point down to the one inch mark above the nipple. That is if we're making a mid shoulder princess star line. But here we are doing a mid armhole princess star line. So the only difference is where we position this line from the mid of the armhole or from the mid um, shoulder. Right. Every other thing is going to be about the same. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to be contouring our bust. Now, this is my under bust line, 
right here so coming to the underboss line i'm going to take out some excess which would help in contouring the underboss right what do i mean by contouring contouring the underboss is simply taking out excess from the underboss that would make the boss stand out more okay will make the curve of the breast stand out more so you divide your underboss circumference by 4. Our underboss circumference is 26 here, divided by 4 is 6.5. So you come to your underboss line, you measure from the side to one leg of your dart, you take note of what the reading is, and then you avoid the dart excess and go over to the other um, dart leg and measure from there to the center front. Right, so you sum it all up. Take note, guys, the length would always be bigger than your underboss circumference after dividing into 4. So here I have 7.5, and don't forget my underboss circumference was supposed to be 6.5. So I have to take off 0.5 on this side and 0.5 on the other side, which sums up to 1 inch. So I actually bring this underboss circumference to the through 6.5 I want it to be. Then using my French curve, I'm going to be connecting from the nipple down to the marking I just did, just like so. So from the nipple, I'll come down by one inch as well. And then I'm going to be making the curl from the one inch marking, guys, not from the nipple. So from there, I'll make the curve just as you can see. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. So as you can see, I have um, a sort of a straight line running down here from the one inch mark above the nipple and the one inch mark below the nipple, right? Don't be scared, guys. By the time I close my side, that all that straightness will turn to a curve. So from my 0 0.5 inch marking, I'm going to use my ruler and connect from there down to my dart, my waist dart. So you can see how this looks. In summary, guys, so I took out one inch in total from my under bust to contour the bust. How did I arrive at this? I measured the under bust circumference of my clients and then I divided the reading I got into four. So I got 6.5 inches, but measuring the under bust I got here was 7.5 inches. So I had to take out one inch. To do this, I took out 0 0.5 from one dart leg to the other side and 0 0.5 from one dart leg to the other side, which then I connected down to the waistline, the waist dart here yeah, on the waistline. Once again, if I were to do a mid-shoulder princess style line, now everything I've done down here, right, would be exactly the same. The only difference is that my style line would be coming from the mid-shoulder, running down to the one inch mark I did above the nipple, right, instead of the curve coming from the armhole. Everything I've done right here, contouring and all and all, will be exactly the same. I'm about to cut now. Now, watch how I'm going to do it. From one dart leg, I'm going to cut right through to my under bust line, up to the bust line, and following my curve into the mid of the armhole. Right. So there I have my side panel. Next, I'm going to cut the other dart leg, following it up to the under bust line, and going towards the nipple. Now, you see what I have here? right this is our under bust line with the contour done and our waist that now this is trash i'm going to throw that away next i'm going to do i'm going to close the side that so using the paper tape i would permanently close that side that so i have my paper tape here so I'm going to close the side dart by folding one leg of the dart just like so and taking it over to the other leg of that. And then using my paper tape, I'm going to close it up. Very easy. So that is all guys. Very, very easy. So easy. So you can see my 
panels there, the side panel and the center front panel. Now, if you didn't understand anything I've done so far, I would suggest you stop this video, go back to the beginning and watch it till you get back to this point. This is so easy. So having done this, so we're going to go the over back, to the, the back. The same thing applies. I'm going to take my curve and I'll be connecting from the mid of the armhole down to where you see my darts um the points the pointy part of the dots <laughs> all right just like that i don't have a side dart at the back so i'm not going to be worrying about closing any dots the only dart i have here is the waist dart and the waist dart is part of the princess dart okay guys i forgot to um let you guys know the princess dart is actually um also known as a dart equivalent style line right it's a dart equivalent style line because within the princess style line is a dart a dart or two now in front you notice we had two dots we had the mid armhole dart and then we had the waist dart but here at the back we have just one dart which is the waist dart and then the curve we made from the mid armhole is just a style line it doesn't contain a dart hope i haven't made you confused okay if you're confused just forget about what i've said just practice with what i have taught here in this tutorial okay so picking up the side panel you can see that it's a bit too sharp um up there so i'm going to use my scissors and i'm going to blend that out i'll take out that sharp or pointy part by smoothing out the curve just as you can see me do right now this is perfect so these are the panels for the back as you can see, I've labeled the center back there and the side seam of the back. And these are the panels for the front. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and lay my fabric and cut. So this is the lovely Ankara fabric I'm going to be using. I have laid out my center front piece on the pattern, placed on full, just as you can see. So I'm going to fasten this with pins and i'm going to cut so you can't help but notice that i didn't add um cutting allowance or sewing allowance on this panel so while cutting i added my allowance 0 0.5 on the style line one inch on the side seam 0 0.5 on the neck and on the shoulder and 0 0.5 on the waistline okay so coming to the nipple right i have made a little snip there on both panels so when sewing i can bring them together at that point so i've gone on to cut the back, pa back panels as well that's the back panel there and then this is my front panel so everything is ready now to sew okay so this is the style line the princess style line this is the wrong side of the fabric um, I had to use fusible interfacing to improve the quality of the fabric or to enhance the quality of the fabric so we are done joining now you can see what's going on here you can see the curve that's going on here right this curve can only happen if you do your um, bodice block right so once again please head over to my description box and click the link to watch how to make a bodice block all right so that's the front side and this is the back okay this is the seam connecting the panels and right here we have center back so this is the wrong side of the fabric so this is what it looks like okay so let me tilt to the side so you can see the curve that is going on here right you can see the curve going on here that will carry the bust okay this is what the right side looks like this is a mid armhole princess style line okay and this is the back you can see the style line right there center back and the other side of the style line so we are going to go ahead now and join the side seams of the front and the back together yes mama it's your birthday 
So this project was actually an other, a client's other, so I can't put it on so you see the feet on me. However, I had to use my mannequin, although you would notice that my mannequin is a bit smaller, but I wanted you to appreciate the star line. Now that's the curve, as you can see, following the curve of the bust. Okay. If you have watched this video up to this point, then it means you learned something. Kindly give us a thumbs up guys and follow us, subscribe to this channel so you can see more content like this. God bless you.